Hello everyone, Dark Dragon here, and welcome to Nevermind. I just found this on the Xbox Store and wanted to check it out. I'm not really sure. It said it's some sort of thriller, so let's begin. Okay. Some sort of story, thriller, puzzle game that I thought looked interesting. Let's do this! Seems like my screen is off a little bit on the left. But, that's alright. We'll see if we can change that. Okay. Weird reticule. Reticule. Okay, what? Just gotta check. I don't want to invert. Language, sound, graphics. Okay, well, I guess we will just deal with it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Neurostalgia. Brains. Interact. Touch anywhere on the screen to continue. Hello, Doctor. Our facial recognition sensors detect you must be Neurostalgia's newest neuroprober. Welcome to the team. We can take care of the final registration details here. Press continue to proceed with this process. We appreciate you arriving extra early today. We find it helps to onboard new neuroprobers before colleagues and clients arrive. As a neuroprober, you will be delving into the subconscious mind of our clients to help them work through their struggles with psychological trauma. It is deeply important work, but work that requires a great deal of security and discretion. We will now proceed to verify your identity. The experience ahead will contain intense- oh, I think this is a game warning. Intense and disturbing scenes. Alrighty. Oh. My name? We see you came wearing your assigned iStalgia device. Thank you for your compliance with standard policy. You may notice tips and points of interaction within the Institute will be highlighted by the lens. Your first day registration is complete. Please proceed to the staff-only area behind you. Your iStalgia lens has been synced to your employee account and will grant you access through the doors. Hoab de do. Oh, that's cool. Alright, we are registered and ready for work. Cool music. Ding. Pretty. Open. What? Nope. Nope. Pull the fire alarm? Nope. Alright. Woo. Freaky. <laughs> yes, that is amazing. Boy, those birds are loud. What's this do? Intro Sim, a simulated mindscape constructed by. Neurostalgia to help with new employee orientation. Sure. You may now commence neuro probing. Alrighty, let me look at my office a little more. Make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, see, I would have missed that. 
Yep, yep. Dear Dr. Fart, let us be the first to warmly welcome you to the Neurostalgia Institute. This room is your office, and we trust that you will find everything you need to comfortably work here. Your iStalgia lens will log you into your primary computer just across from this desk. You can get started there whenever you feel ready. Once again, welcome to our small and elite team of neuroprobers. We feel honored to have you here working with us. Phew. I already figured that out, but thanks for telling me. Drama. It can happen at any to anyone at any time. I really fucked that up, but that's okay. Wow. Okay, this is this is gonna be interesting. This is very cool. This promises to be fucked up. Oh boy. Gonna probe your narrows up in this bitch. Get ready for the probe. The intro sim is a simulated mindscape created by the Neurostalgia Institute to ensure new neuroprobers are fully prepared before working with their first client. Although not as complex as an actual client, the intro sim offers unique guidance to train <laughs> and remind neuroprobers of the key principles and techniques of neuroprobing. We at the Neurostalgia Institute hope you enjoy this introductory simulation. Things have become almost unbearable for me and for my family nothing has helped i guess that's why i'm here so um if i just talk about my troubles you'll be able to use it later to help with the procedure it seems hard to believe but you're the expert I, I think many of my issues started when i was young so why don't we start with my childhood days yes it's your parents' fault. Okay. Let's see. Do I need to listen to all I of this? I was raised in a lovely cottage in rural Germany. We didn't have much, but my twin sister, uh, our father, and I got by. There was actually a great famine for much of my early childhood, and often we went without food. How born is this? I had many happy moments with my family. But Do the I darkest need times this? began when my father remarried. My stepmother always resented my sister and Okay, I'm not going to sit through all of that because this is the introduction <clears throat> and I don't think it's relevant. Welcome to Neuroprober Training. I am pleased to be your guide. When I'm speaking, you can always make a left trigger motion to skip the instruction. Oh, okay. Left trigger motion. Beautiful. Pretty good looking game. This game was only $20, so it's a uh, indie game, but it's pretty good looking. Whether you are speaking with the client directly or neural probing within their mind, it is always imperative to listen. You'll find that every detail of the subconscious is trying to tell its story. In the case of our clients, it's often the forgotten story of the trauma they experienced. Some parts of the client's memory may have become confused Bread. or corrupted by the conscious mind's attempts to reconcile or cover up the truth of what happened to them. However, if you look closely and carefully in the right places, you will find that the truth will ultimately shine through. Okay, okay. While neuroprobing, you will encounter objects that look like photographs. This is how your consciousness interprets the concrete memory moments it finds within the client's psyche. Typically, there are about 10 of these memory photos found in each psyche. The mind oh. can only hold on to so much. You'll find that half of these photos present an actual moment relating to the trauma. The other half tend to be false memories created by the client's conscious mind. It will ultimately be up to you to determine which are which. More on that later. When you okay, acknowledge okay. a memory photo, it will surface more prominently in the client's psyche, and at that point can be found in a safe area of the mind, often where you begin within the client's mind. When you have found all oh, photos, okay. you must put five of the memories that actually represent the trauma 
in the proper order. Doing so will, at last, fully release the memory to the client's conscious mind. Often he or she will experience a breakthrough at this moment. That breakthrough is what every neuroprober lives for and is the key to the client finally being able to work towards true recovery. The most important thing you do as a neuroprober is find and acknowledge these photos. Love. However, this is easier said than done. While some photos are freely available in the subconscious, others are buried deeply within and will need to be coaxed out. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's a dead end. Alright, I can do this. So, can I not go in the house then, I'm guessing? All right. Beep, 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 beep. Some parts of the subconscious allow you to interact with them. While neuroprobing, make an A button motion to engage with. Them. Interacting with one part of the mind can oh, sometimes I see. open up new areas of the psyche. Some things, like these doors, oh, it's shut. can change their state in response to actions taken elsewhere. Oh no, it's nighttime now. What is that? Don't know what that is. My sister saved me from becoming dinner. Oh wow. The subconscious doesn't take kindly to intruders. Uh -oh. And will take every opportunity to feed off of any sensations of anxiety or tension you offer to it. Oh, uh, okay. If you can, try to stay calm and peaceful, even oh, in the face good. of terror. Oh, okay. If you can calm yourself, uh -huh. yeah. you'll find the subconscious will calm okay. itself too. Mm -hmm. I'm calm. I'm calm and I'm brave, as we all know. Ain't nothing gonna scare me. Here's an example of a particularly buried memory. Some details of a given trauma can Whoa. be especially tenacious, but by gently and cleverly listening to the clues the mind gives you, you will find all you need to work through it. Just think of it as a puzzle for you to solve. When you focus on these puzzles, make a left trigger motion if you need to break your concentration. In other words, to go back, I'm guessing? Yes. So I see what needs done. There we go, there we go. Okay, okay. Okay. Really? Can I grab it? There we go. Okay. That made little logical sense, but I see what we're doing now. The bird would never sing for us. Well, that was... Here's an example of a particular... Some details. Okay, Just okay, think of it as okay, focus yeah. On yeah, I get it. Okay. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Onward! I don't know why I didn't think, but we're just gonna move on. Uh-oh! Oh, okay! Hi! Aren't you just a special guy? Ugh. Or baby? Nothing over here? Okay. Well, I'll just walk through the dead baby forest. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Ha, this is... Jesus, that fucking scared me. Oh god, they're falling out! Run! A terrible fire burned our home down. Oh no. Whew, that was creepy. While Unsettling. Your consciousness is lost deep inside the subconscious mind of the client. Though this is a journey that you must make alone, we at the Neurostalgia Institute take the safety of our neuroprobers very seriously. If you need to access any of your neuroprober tools or pull your consciousness free, Press your finger uh, press where your a finger. menu button might be. Or a menu button This will bring up be. your neuroprober tools. 
and you can proceed as needed. Oh, there. okay. I see now it says all this stuff, so. Uh, let's just save. Why not? Okay. Onward. Notice everything. Okie dokie. Well, I'm gonna guess this bird thing is unrelated. Okay, I can't move it. Do I move the order? No, okay. Did I not find everything yet? I'm guessing. Still can't go in the house. Let's see. We went through that door. We can't go through that door. Don't tell me I'm doing this wrong too, because that would piss me off. So far, it's just letting me grab them and put them back. Maybe you can only sort them once you have all ten. Maybe I missed a bunch walking around and not paying attention and well, looking at <laughs> creepy babies. Do I need to look at this closer? Are there clues on here? Or is it just an item? I'm sure I'm missing something. I seem to do that pretty often. Okay, well, maybe this will be different when we go back through it. I doubt it, but I need to make sure I didn't miss anything. So, back to the... <gasps> okay, very dark. Do you remember when I mentioned that the client's subconsciousness can feed off of your fear? Some uniquely oh, vulnerable Jesus. areas can be very sensitive and dangerous. When you place your consciousness in another's subconsciousness, there is a risk of you getting hurt, of the pain and turmoil oh, of the client's okay. psyche, oh, good. drawing your own mind into its agony. Oh. You must be brave in these areas despite the risk. You must stay calm. Should you let your fears get the best of you, okay. it will be incredibly difficult to proceed unharmed. I hear things. I'm gonna freaking piss myself. So dark. All right, all right. Oh God. Oh, it's a dead end. Okay. I'm brave. And lost. Okay. So it told me to be brave, and I'm doing it. Now what? Jesus. Oh, <laughs> god damn. <laughs> oh, let me just get spooked by the health menu. Do you remember when I mentioned that? Okay, we don't need to hear that again. Um... Monkeys? Oh, I see. What is that? Carrying an object. You can even pick up and walk around with some objects. To do so, interact with it, and then start walking while holding on to it. Got me a bread. There you go. It's an offering to my owl brethren. Was that it? Well, okay. The sounds are getting a lot more intense. Oh, it changed. Well, that's trippy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Headless animal. 
That's nice. Hello, Mr. Horse. Can you tell me how to get the fuck out of here? What kind of monster? Slenderman's coming after me. Run! I can't run. Ooh, poor bread. Here you go. Traumatic lack of bread. I'm so scared of carbs. Okay. Alright. Oh, fuck me. Did I need to pick that up? Ugh. Don't throw things. It's rude. Rude. What the hell is that? Oh, now it's snowing. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That flu is getting intense. Uh oh. Don't get me, Slendy. Oh, a cage? That's not good. Oh, hello. Is this your head? No. It's more bread. Ah, uh, where does this go? Do are you a breadhead? No. Right here. It's gonna change again. I know that. Ooh, such... Such noise. Much noise. Intense. Intensifying fears! What's that? Remember, this is just a simulation, simulation created by the Neurostalgia Institute. The psyches of actual clients will likely be more complex and often much more terrifying. Oh, good. Oh. Okay, dokie. Whoa. All right, you witch. Get out here. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think this was a horror game, but my god, this is intense. I'm like sweating. I don't really know why, but it's just the atmosphere of the game. There's not really anything terrifying happening yet, but it's, <laughs> it's like it told you that it would. So now I'm on edge thinking that something's just gonna murderate me. And that does not help. Oh, good. Spikes. Candy cane spikes. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's Hansel and Gretel. So how do I get over here? Ma'am! Well... What does it say? I can't read it. And I can't walk through there. What's it say? something what the hell obviously I'm supposed to go that way but how maybe I missed something I must have missed something Okay. Oh, I did miss something. Herp a derp. She would take us to the forest to die, but we would leave a trail to find our way back home. One time we got very lost. This is definitely Hansel and Gretel. I've never been so scared. Hearing the tale of Ansel and Gretel. But when they warn you that it's going to be terrifying, it's going to be terrifying. What's this? When say? your consciousness is in another's subconsciousness, your psyches will inevitably intermingle. 
Just yeah. as the client's mind can affect you, you will see parts of yourself reflected in the mind of the client. Tread lightly and tread carefully. Well, doesn't that sound fun? Oh, goody. A baby cage. Cage that, baby! Oh, it's all melty. Almost as if it... Whoa. What in the hell kind of tree is that? Pulsating tree. Disgusting. Okay. I don't want to miss anything, but I think this is the same path. Oh, knives. That's cool. Not creepy at all. Nope. Just a knife tree that's pulsating. Ain't nothing abnormal about that. Oh, God. That's cool. At Neurostalgia, we take great measures to ensure our neuroprober safety as best we can. However... I was you bitten by an animal in my sleep. through a highly dangerous area that you must face alone. If the client's subconscious dun, dun. becomes too volatile, you will be automatically removed from this area of the mind and taken to a safer area of the <laughs> mind. Use this as an opportunity to collect yourself. Gross. When you're ready, you will be able to easily return to where you left off to battle the darkness and chaos that has my taken you My God. Subconscious. Seems like a lot of warning. To tell you that this is gonna be terrifying and intense. I'm really curious how actually terrifying and intense it ends up being. So, um. Okay. 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 Alright. Uh. Skull cupcake. So I can step there. Nope. Okay. Can I just walk down this side? No, I can't. Oh good, it got darker. I don't want to get stabbed in the butt. Oh, okay, I see it. Sort of. Um. Okay. This is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I lost it as soon as I fucking tried. Are you serious? Okay. Maybe I didn't. I mean, I have to go all the way back, obviously, to get in that house. But maybe I... Okay, how do I do that? Okay. Thought I needed to. I mean, I would guess it as another photo, but how do I get back there? Oh, this does open. Push me all the way friggin' back here. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, let's try this again and try not to be so stupid. This is... Not going to be easy. One, two, three. Jeez, how am I, how am I supposed to? Okay. Nope. All right, I fucked up again. Please don't get me. I know I'm bad at puzzles. Okay. I think I can go across at some point. 
There's like no indicator as to. There we go. There we go. Nope. Okay, it was open. Do I just go across? Nope. Ta da! I'm okay. Did I not do it right? Probably not. Oh, there we go. Worst birthday party ever. Or worst birthday ever. Pardon my shittiness at puzzles. Oh, good. Oh, good. What am I doing? I'm supposed to do something? Ah! Okay. Not move that fast. Just... Oh, now it's on the top. There we go. Alrighty. That was a terrible birthday. Wow, this looks like the park. Except tapping music. This is just... Can we go any faster? Onward! Goose. Goose boat. Oh, slowly. Does it need to be this slow? Any day now. I think I only have one more photo. I don't know why I was getting so... I just... It kept telling me it was going to be terrifying, and I was starting to get terrified, and then it was like, oh, it's just Hansel and Gretel. I mean, I would imagine other ones might be more actually terrifying, instead of just making me feel that way. We were lost, but we found a house that looked nice. Shouldn't have done it. Bam, 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 da, 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 da. All right. Now we have ten. So are the top ones the necessary ones? Oh, 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 okay. I'm gonna guess the children. Wait, how many are there? I guess maybe this one? It was the worst birthday ever, maybe? Whoa, okay. This is a simulation, not an actual client. Clients are very nuanced, but this sim may be more simple than you think. Trust your gut based on the clues you saw. Does it need to be in an order? Because I did not put it in order. I don't feel like that burning our home down is is necessary because it's more about the house was a trap okay she would take us into the forest to die we found a house that looked nice the house was a trap sister saved me from becoming dinner Worst birthday ever. I don't know if that one's really relevant. I think I got it wrong again. Take a moment and focus. Shut up. 
So, uh, uh, duh. She hates us. She takes us, takes us to the forest. Children are cooked and eaten there. No, that's wrong. Don't do that one. One time we got very lost. We found a house. This. And this. Duh! I don't know why I thought the birthday was relevant, but I feel like if you were almost eaten, it would be a pretty bad birthday. Depending. On how you mean eaten. Oh my god. It's all rushing back to me. It's so awful, and I, I don't want to remember, but yes, I now know the face of my demon. Okay, we all know it's Hansel and Gretel. I'm not gonna focus on that. <laughs> Alright, well we finished the introduction. This is a very cool game. I'm definitely going to play more of this. Um, it said explore what? It is recommended that neuroprobers wear their nostalgia device while neuroprobing and while in the institute. Doing so um, eases the transition from the real world to the mindscape. Okay, we know that. Um, anyway, I did the intro. It's already been about half an hour, so I'm going to call this video here. But I'm definitely going to play more. Probably now. So... I'm going to sign off for now. Stay tuned for the next episode. Ba da da ba da ba da ba ba da 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 da